the street today, building community connections in Mesa, connecting with Fire Station 221 as they blaze a trail for fire departments across Arizona. Rachel Cole is live at the station with how? Hey, Rachel. Oh. Hey, we are checking out this all electric fire truck. I know Hudson just flew the coop, but he's the newest engineer. Oh hey, my Hudson. Goodness. Hi. hi. Can you say truck? Yeah. Yeah, he is overly impressed, so and frankly, so am I. I guess I'll leave my hat on since I probably have hat hair at this point. But this thing is so amazing. We want to show you the big old charger because you had asked about the battery specifically. How's it look? We're at 71%, so we don't need to plug it in right now. But if we did, Ooh. here's the charging station. Like and what's cool charge. is Mesa Fire already has an, a system in place. If you can see up here, this magna grip actually connects to the exhaust on the old school, if you will, fire trucks to make sure that all of those nasty emissions are getting sucked out of the fire station and just out of here so that they're not breathing that in when they're getting dressed, getting ready, getting unready, et cetera. But just an amazing piece of machinery. We're actually going to have Casey, who's been uh, with the department for 38 years. He's going to fire it up. Case, we'll let you jump in there. They were telling us this is such an amazing piece of equipment to be able to um, respond to calls obviously quickly. This thing drives like a golf cart. So he is just going to give us a little example of how the noise pollution is also in effect as well. So you're not even going to be able to hear this thing sneak out. Now I know what you're thinking. Don't you want to hear fire engines when they're coming by? Of course it has lights and sirens. You guys come on now. We're not going to have a fire truck that's that silent, but listen to this thing so that when they are treating patients and tending to victims, they're not having exhaust and noise blaring out of this truck. They're able to communicate with each other over radio, etc., and make sure that they are taking care of these victims that make those calls. I know I look ridiculous. Hudson, let me borrow this hat. But what's not ridiculous is how impactful this truck is to the greater Mesa community, the 400 square miles that they cover, and all of the people that they serve in this community. We'll send it back to you, but boy, oh boy, look at this monster. Yeah, that's so cool how something so big can be so quiet. And Rachel, you look great. Thank you.